Yo, what's going down, everybody? It is straight to the Boston area, K, the King of Boston. Today we're back for episode 61 of the Georgia State Dynasty, and we're here for the Mighty Key Car Care Bowl, where the number 25 ranked Georgia State Panthers will take on the 6 and 5 Penn State Nittany Lions. Now, no recruiting to show in these bowl weeks. You don't get any points to allocate or whatever. So, a lot of our prospects are pretty much up in the air right now. Not really too sure how this recruiting class is going to uh, sort of pan out. We were on the top of the lists uh, for a lot of top guys, and I'm not sure if they're going to commit, though. They really, they never gave us any type of sign. A lot of them it started to kind of, I guess, uh, just feel interested in other schools, for lack of a better kind of phrase, um, uh, towards the end of the year. So I'm a little bit concerned how this class is going to turn out, but... For right now, we got other things to deal with. We have the Mighty Key Car Care Bowl, as I said, against the 6 and 5 Penn State Nittany Lions. I'm not sure how they only played 11 games, uh, but I guess that's just how it happens. So we are 7 and 5, finished the year 4 and 5 in the SEC, and we are ready to get this kickoff started from Reliant Stadium in Houston, Texas. Avery sweeting back to return this, and I think this is the third time out of four bowl games that we've played in a dome. And we played in, I believe, two New Orleans Bowls. And we also played in a BBVA Compass Bowl in Mobile, Alabama, I believe, or Mobile, 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 Mobile. Um, and we lost to Auburn. But we're undefeated in bowl games in a dome, so hopefully we can keep that going. And that's a good start. Paul Walker, 76-yard touchdown, and that is going to give Georgia State an early 7-0 lead. So Penn State on offense, Christian Hackenberg, the quarterback, looking, and Antonio Huff is there. He got beat on the coverage, but a soft throw by Hackenberg lets Huff to catch up, and Huff makes the interception a big play. The first turnover of the game for either side, and the Panthers get the ball back with great field position. So man in motion, it's Kyler Neal. Johnson will keep it, though, in the read option, pick up a first down on an 8-yard gain. Now inside of the 15-yard line, third and eight. Jeremy Johnson, shotgun set. He's going to look for Rufus Warren in the end zone. Almost intercepted, but it's dropped by Malik Golden. So that will bring out the field goal unit for Georgia State. They would convert, and it is 10-0. Hackenberg now back for Penn State. Looking in the flat here, it's going to be Anderson making the grab. Getting across the 50 after a broken tackle, and that's a 14-yard pickup for Ricky Anderson. Now Hackenberg dropping back. This time he's got to scramble to the right. Not a fast quarterback, but he gets it done, finds a hole, picks up a first down, and gets across the 35-yard line as he or they're now into Georgia State territory. Hackenberg looking out of the backfield. This time it's Akeel Lynch, 9-yard pickup. Now third and eight. Hackenberg dropping back, looking deep. End zone, and that is going to be caught by Eugene Lewis. A 20-yard touchdown throw to Lewis and Hackenberg. Gets Penn State on the board as they cut the lead to three. Now into the second quarter here, Johnson goes play action fake. Looking into the flat, it's Blake Gardner who's going to get hit hard, but picks up eight yards nonetheless. Now third and two. We're going to go with the read option. Johnson will keep it. He'll get across for the first down inside or to about the 42-yard line of Georgia State. Now second and ten. Johnson looking short. It's Paul Walker making a grab on a slant route, and we're at midfield now third and one. Hand off to Neal up the middle. It's got the first down and a lot more. It's an 11-yard rush for the, or the junior standout. Now first and 10, Johnson to Neal, makes a couple juke moves, great elusiveness right there, 13 yard pickup, and Georgia State's drive will continue. Now Johnson tried to look for Justin Wagner there towards the end zone in the corner, but the pocket collapses and he loses six yards on the sack, so third and 17, Johnson's gonna go to the corner route. Paul Walker again makes the grab, and he's into the end zone for his second touchdown of the day. This time it's a 33 yarder, the last one was a 76. So Walker doing a great job of stretching the field so far today. And Johnson, 6-9 in the day, two touchdowns. Great day out of him so far. So now Penn State back on offense. Hackenberg dropping back, pocket collapsing, and he trips over his own lineman, loses six yards. That'll set up third and 14. Hackenberg into the shotgun set once again. This time can't find anyone open. Tries to force that to Henderson, or Anderson, I should say. But that is incomplete, and that will force a punt away. So the Georgia State defense comes up big. Now a chance to go up by three scores before the half expires. We hit Paul Walker over the middle, 12-yard pickup. Now 44 seconds to play, second and five. Another corner out to Paul Walker, the second time we've executed that so far in the afternoon, and that will give us a first down. Now first and 10, Johnson dropping back, looking. Fires it short, and that is intercepted. A short-sighted throw right there by Johnson. Just stupid decision, and I take the blame for that. So Penn State gets the ball back, 17 seconds left. It's going to be a screenplay to Akeel Lynch, and Lynch has got open field. He's going to get across the 50 inside of the Georgia State 45-yard line. Now first and 10, 22 seconds to play Hackenberg. Looking short, and a great user interception by Jamil Spencer right there. Read that the entire way. Spencer picks it off, and that will prevent or Penn State from scoring, and that will send us into the half. 17-7 will be the score. A pretty good performance by Georgia State so far. A couple of missed opportunities, but... 
Either way, the defense has been playing great, the offense has been playing great, so really cannot complain, and Penn State's going to have to make some sort of adjustment or some sort of adjustments if they want to come back in this game. Georgia State, I believe, will receive the ball to, or no, I guess it will kick off, actually, because Sweden returned the opening kick. So Penn State does get the ball here to start the second half. Hackenberg dropping back, looking to the left side. It's going to be Anderson again, who has a couple grabs on the day already. Now second and 11, Hackenberg looking short. It's going to be Anderson once again. Richie Anderson picking up a big game, 18 yards. Now second and 11, Hackenberg. Across into Georgia State territory, he's going to hit his man Lewis on the slant route for a 13-yard pickup. And Penn State putting together a drive here, trying to get back in this game. Eugene Lewis once again picks up a big game. Now second and one, Hackenberg will keep it on the read option. He's got a first down, tries to break the tackle of Antonio Huff, but he is stuffed. Still picks up five yards. Second and five, Hackenberg looking short, and that's intercepted. Ladarian Young makes the play. Another turnover for the Georgia State defense, and that will prevent the scoring opportunity for the Penn State Nittany Lions. Now first and 10, Johnson play action fake, trying to capitalize on the turnover. Ross Jackson across midfield into Penn State territory with a 16 yard pickup. Now 548 to play in the third, looking short. Walker makes the grab of aid to tackler and gets inside of the 35 with a 16 yard pickup. Second and 11, split halfbacks. Johnson looking and it's Wagner who hangs on. Now first and 10, 427 to play. Hand up to Neil getting back to the running game which has been so effective so far today. And Neil, who's had a bit of a disappointing season, picks up an 11-yard gain and then gets a touchdown run to put Georgia State on top 24-7 as this game is, looks like it could be blown open anytime. So Hackenberg now trying to get something going on this Indy line offense. They need to get back in this game. They need to get a score to get back in this game. That's a good opportunity. Warner down the sideline. Jonathan Warner picks up a huge gain. Now first and 10. Hackenberg keeps it with the quarterback read option, and that will be a 13-yard pickup shoved out of bounds by Hicks. And now first and goal. Hackenberg pocket collapsing again, and it's Cameron Melton who reads the play perfectly, picks it off, and Melton, a little bit faster than Ladarian Young on the last one, is going to take this all the way to the house. A 100-yard pick six, and this game has been blown open. 31-7. to Now Penn State back on offense. Hackenberg trying to recover. Still kind of, you know, he's throwing the ball well. He just has made a couple really bad throws and a couple really bad decisions. This time he hits James a bad tackle by my part. By, uh, or on my part by Jamil Spencer, but Jesse James picks up the 12-yard gain. Now looking short, it's Richie Anderson once again who breaks Cameron Melton's tackle and gets 20 yards. So here he goes, that Penn State offense getting into scoring opportunity again, but once again, another terrible decision by Christian Hackenberg. This time he's actually going to chase down Terry Batista himself, but the fifth turnover and the fifth interception of the game for Christian Hackenberg, and that has what do has done this Penn State team in so far today. Six-yard gain for Jeremy Johnson. Now later in the drive, it is third and five. Johnson will scramble to the right side. No one picks him up on a contain. He's got a first down, gets hit hard, but he gets inside of the five yard line. New set of downs, second to goal, up the middle to Neal, who's got his second touchdown run of the day. And Georgia State goes up 38 to 7. And this game is all but over, folks. Georgia State about to win its third bowl game in program history. A big accomplishment. The goal heading into this year was to get to a bowl game the first year in the SEC. They got off to a 5 1 start. It was a start that a lot of people were surprised by, but then they went in a four-game skid, losing four in a row just to win and bounce back and win two in a row to cap off the season, and it looks like they're going to extend that to three in a row here. Under five minutes to play, Penn State still trying to drive. Hackenberg looking. It's going to find Warner again. I believe that's Jonathan Warner. Yes, it is. 11-yard pickup. Hackenberg, shotgun set, gives it to his halfback who breaks a couple tackles. He's going to be stopped short, though. Fourth and seven coming up. And they will go for it here to try and extend this game a little bit. On 4th and 7, Hackenberg drops back. He looks short to his halfback out of the backfield, but Harris is there to make a huge hit, stopping Rankin short of the first down. Georgia State gets the ball back. They would run out the clock, and that will do it. Georgia State wins its third bowl game in four years, its third bowl game in program history. The play of the game is Cameron Melton's pick six, and that will cap off season four of the Georgia State dynasty. A successful one. By all accounts, like I said, the goal heading into the year was to make a bowl game. We did that, and we even won the bowl game, winning a new bowl game. We have two New Orleans Bowl victories. This was our first bowl game win outside of a New Orleans Bowl. Like I touched on previously, we made the BBVA Compass Bowl a couple years ago, but lost to a pretty good Auburn team. You can see Georgia State celebrating on the field. They will take this moment and savor it for a while. 
but bigger goals lie ahead for Georgia State as we approach Season 5 and Season 2 in the SEC. Georgia State will now look to become an upper echelon program in the FBS subdivision of the Division One college football, NCAA, whatever you want to call it. So, bigger goals lie ahead. Next year, we're going to try and come back and maybe even compete for an SEC title. We'll see. It really depends on how the recruiting class goes, but that's going to do it. So, thank you guys for watching. Hope you did enjoy. I hope you guys enjoyed Season 4. Season 5 will try to be, as always, even bigger and better. That's going to do it. So, as always, I'm out. Peace.